Ooh, more jelly! Just call me a flying fish! out of a sticky situation. If you weren't grilling those patties like an amateur has never cooked before, I wouldn't have to use my chum. Just follow my lead. If I was following your lead, me precious patties would taste like your disgusting chum. Mr. Krabs, what are you doing here? Are you working with Plankton? They had no choice. The poor citizens of Bikini Bottom were starving. I couldn't let them eat the garbage Plankton was serving. I'm right here. So we struck a deal to feed those poor, hungry mouths. So long as they pay, of course. Well, if you don't hurry with those patties, crabs, nobody will be fed. Then you'll have to say goodbye to your sweet money. SpongeBob, you gotta help us. You're the only one I trust with me secret formula. Could you fix us some more Krabby Patties? I'm on it, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Someone's so going starving! What is the deal? Food and attention! and dress up, so I've got a little reward for helping out your favorite employer. I couldn't help but overhear you miss your little pet snail, Walter. 
Gary. Right, Gary. Well, with this cosmic costume, you should be able to enter the portal he was sucked into. But watch out, honey. That snail of yours is in big, big trouble. Ooh, a pretty flower costume. We must be going to some gentle land of sunshine and kindness. Don't give up, Gare Bear. I'm coming for you. Creatures, Patrick, they're, they're... Funny? No, scary! Oh, yeah, yeah, that was gonna be my second guess. No, this whole place is frightening. It's cold, it's moist, and it smells like the dumpster behind the chum bucket. Well, that sure sounds a lot like this puddle of ooze you're standing in. Ew! It must be the remains of the victims of the monster that came through here. We have to hurry and find Gary! Remember, SpongeBob, just pretend that scary equals funny and play hide and seek with them. Great idea, and we'll win because they're not even seeking. Oh, 
What kind of monster would abandon a candy bar like that? All alone? Half eaten? Without its wrapper? Oh, we have to find Gary before he shares that candy bar's fate. Shouldn't we help this candy find a warm and safe place? Too bad I left my candy bar bag in my candy bar bag carrying bag. I guess I have to put it in my mouth instead. Wait a t wait a tide. Something about this ooze seems very f mm. 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 calcium with a faint trace of protein and lots of love. That's not ooze, that's slime! Gary slime! That is a lot of slime for such a tiny snail. He must be so scared. We gotta find him. All we have to do is just follow this slime trail through the dark, scary, horrifying city. I hope they give us creeps. I want mine with powdered sugar. A quarter up. That awful slime left by that monster. What disgusting creature could do that? Have you seen? I'm afraid I have not. I'm in the middle of crucial organizing business for the Snail Cup. If you want to enter the race, you need to pay the participation fee of five candy bars. There's only one way to get the amount of candy we need. Take it from babies? No, we go trick-or-treating. Oh, uh, that works too, I guess. Any chance you know where I could find some candies? There's a weird fish living in a house above the city. You could try that. The pass is next to me, but the way up is dangerous. A little dabble to ya. Some guy said he saw the monster, and it made a horrible hiss at him. trying to find chocolate for three days. There's almost nothing left. Except for, well, I could tell you, but you have to promise to split the spoils. I'm all ears. Well, actually, I'm mostly cellulose, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, a weird and very heavy rock crashed behind my house, right on my chocolate shed. Maybe you can move it. Here, let me open the gate for you. Look, Pat, 
you young fellows. Candy! Candy, 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 candy! Oh, of course, sweetie. Here, have a candy bar. Wow, vintage! Thanks! Snail, tiny, cute, sweet, with very expressive eyelashes. If he's really sweet, then the monster probably took him. He ruined everyone's Halloween by stealing our sweets. The last time it was seen, it crawled down the racing track. I think the track probably leads all the way to its lair. There it feasts on innocent candy and pets. Poor Gary. Patrick, we need to find more candy to get on that racing track. Here, have one of my candy bars for the participation fee. Your awesome costume deserves it. Thanks. <laughs> Did you know every one of the coolest is on the smartest, most talented, most coolest kid? Because they do. My friend said she saw the monster slowly crawling away, and it was huge! Sticky sweet! Trick or treat! I can't understand your accent. Trick or treat! Oh, why didn't you say so? Here, have a candy bar. And nice costume, by the way. Thank you. <sighs> the thing about a monster, it's got lifeless eyes. Black eyes, like a doll's eyes. Look at me go! Uh, I really his pants.
Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. There's a weird the pass is next. Don't you know people have phobias? Sorry, I didn't know my costume was that scary. What are you afraid of? Boxes, man, boxes. You never know what'll be inside or where they'll take you. And then it's too late. And you look just like one, all square-like. Sometimes boxes have good things in them, like Krabby Patties. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Here's some candy. Thank you. Balloons? Don't you know people have phobias? That's all the candy we need. Now we can give it all away to Mrs. Puff. We have to. You again. Did you bring the participation fee candy? With nuts! Fancy. Now keep still. This is going to hurt. Wait, what? It's a snail race. You have to be a snail and fast. Go! Meow, meow, meow. survived. Uh, I mean, you won the race. <laughs> Congratulations. Now go bother the other kids. Ooh, 
there's a shiny candy over there! I wonder what it tastes like. Don't touch it, Patrick! Strawberry's my favorite! Wh who said that? How do you know my name? It's me, Patrick. I thought I was Patrick. No, I'm SpongeBob, you're Patrick. Maybe we should turn on some lights and make sure. SpongeBob, it's too dark here! Do something! These cables are glowing! Maybe they feel pretty. <laughs> Patrick. You and me. Ah! Sandy! I mean, <clears throat> Sandy. The name's Candy, with a C as hard as the toffee in Grandma's candy dish. Thank you for bringing the power back. We're looking for my pet snail, Gary. He got lost, probably kidnapped by a monster. Have you seen him? Haven't seen your pet around, I'm afraid. But that monster, they say its lair is in the museum. It's dangerous, but it might be your best chance of finding your little critter. Sounds reasonable. We should ask this monster if it's seen Gary. Patrick, I don't think monsters can talk. You know what? My little monster theater has been reset. You mind giving me a hand with putting it back in order? If you do, I'll open the way to the museum for you, so you can go look for that monster and your friend. I don't like it, but if there's a chance Gary is with this monster, we have no other choice. Oh, poor Gary. Let's get this theater fixed. Thank <laughs> you. 
Pizza Robin. Can't have a scary show with this jolly balloon bobbing about. Oh, look at these gallons of slime, Patrick. Gary must be terrified, poor thing. Maybe it's not all Gary slime. Maybe the monster caught a whole bunch of sails. Poor oh, sweet babies in danger. Oh, say it isn't so.
told you. Look at all those snails the monster kidnapped. Look, it's scary. So how do we save Gary without that monster snail seeing us? Gary is the monster snail. Huh? They grow up so fast, don't they? These massive amounts of candy bars must have given him a sugar rush. We can't take him back home like this. We have to cut off his candy supply first. Already on it, buddy. <laughs> that whole museum down. We have to get him out of here before we're all buried in the rubble. But Gary is still giant! Don't worry. I'm sure he'll go back to normal once we get him home. I sure hope you're right, Patrick. I've never been wrong about anything yet.
once in my life, I think I might have been wrong. Wow.